In this video, we're going to take a look at how you work with spreadsheets in Excel. And this is specific to the lab number one for my Physical Sciences 153 class. If you're not familiar with spreadsheets, when you open it up in Excel, it should look something like this. To actually put information into the sheet, like where it says enter your name here, you click on that cell and you can just start typing your information in. On places where you're given an equation to enter, in the lab manual it will give you the exact formula and where to put it. So for example, B27 is this box. And when you're clicked on it, it will tell you up here what the box is to make sure it's the box that you need. And on this particular thing in the lab manual, it tells you to type in equal SUM for sum, open parenthesis, and then you can type in the specific box numbers or you can highlight those box numbers. So when I do that, it enters the D8 through D22. You need to close that off with parentheses and hit the Enter key and it will then calculate the value for you. If for some reason you mistype something, when you go back and click on that cell, you see the formula up here. And you can actually click on the formula itself and make any corrections you might need to make. Since it's OK, we'll go ahead and just hit Enter again. Now in the lab, you're going to be entering several formulas in these boxes here. I'm not going to show you all of those, but you can ask me some questions if you need to. The other thing I want to show you about is how to make a graph. So we have this mass and volume data. And we're going to highlight both columns so we have all the mass values and all of the volume values. And now we want to create a graph for that. In Excel, what we need to do is come to the Insert menu. And you'll notice over here it's got charts. The particular type of chart we want to use for this lab is an XY scatter plot. And when you click on that in Excel, it's going to bring up some different options. And we want the one that just has dots. Now that's going to create your basic chart here. We actually want to add a few things to our chart which you can either add a chart element over here one at a time, or you can click over here on the plus button, and it will let you know everything that you might want to check. So for example, we want to add some axis titles, and that's going to include both the X and the Y. If you only wanted just the X or the Y, you could choose that option over there. That gives us our basic chart, but you notice that they're just generic titles at this point. So I want to click on one of those, like the top title, and you can highlight that, and you type in your actual name, maybe student measurements of wood blocks, which is what it told you in the lab manual this data represented. And of course, you can always click back if you've misspelled something, etc. Now for this graph, our first column is the x values. So down here on the x horizontal axis, we would want to change that to mass. And over here on the y axis, that would be our values for the volume. So once you've entered those things in, now we have our full graph on our sheet. There's a lot of other options and things you can do with graphs, but for this basic one for Lab 1, that's all you need to do. You can then answer the rest of the questions in the lab manual based off of this graph. But remember, don't just answer it off of the video's graph. You need to create the graph on your spreadsheet that you're going to be submitting. If you have any questions about how to work with graphs or equations inside the Excel spreadsheet, you can send me some questions and I'll be happy to help you out.